Okay, welcome to Blender 2.56, tutorial number five uh, for uh, the Visby tutorial uh, conference. Um, so, uh, last time we uh, talked about uh, some viewing options, quad view and so forth. Um, I mentioned briefly the camera perspective, which allows you to see how the camera is viewing the scene. Um, in addition to the, the numbers that allow us to see uh, the front, the side, and the top, one, three, and seven, we can also hit the number zero. And what this does is bring us, brings us into a, <clears throat> a camera view perspective where we have a very highlighted little box here that indicates what the camera is seeing. Um, as we saw before, if we click on the image button in the render panel, we can get the uh, we can pull up the UV image editor window and we see the image as the camera sees it. So this is what the camera sees. Um, and so now I wanted to just take the moment to uh, show you that for if we come back out of camera view by hitting zero, uh, we can see our 3D view and see our cube. Um, now let's start uh, actually playing with man manipulating the cube, moving it around in our scene. Uh, so there's three basic types of manipulations that we make. Um, we can grab, rotate, and scale. Um, and there's several different ways to do this, um, and I'll show you a few of them now. So if we hit the T button, uh, we pull up the Object Tools uh, panel, as I mentioned earlier. I'm just going to maximize this by hitting Shift Space Spacebar. Now uh, we have the cube here, and um, <clears throat> you'll notice that in the Object Tools panel we have Translate, uh, Rotate, and Scale buttons. So the Translate button, as soon as we click it, we can actually start moving our box around, moving the cube. Um, if we click on Rotate, we can rotate it around its center. And if we and again to uh, to finalize the uh, the transformation or the rotation or the translation, you have to left click. So we left click on the button and then left click to confirm. Uh, and then also, if we left click on the scale button, we can scale. We can scale it down or scale it up in size. I should point out that uh, whereas we left click to confirm, if you'd rather actually not. Uh, confirm the the transformation you're just about to make. You can right click, and it'll pop back to the way uh, the object was before you started transforming it. So we can uh, do these trans these translate, rotate, and scale transformations from the object tools panel. Uh, additionally, we can use the transform manipulator, which is this colorful three-axis uh, little widget you see floating around on the cube here. This will happen on. This will pop up on any object that you actually select, whether it be the camera, the lamp, or the any other 3D object that might be exist in your scene. And so we can actually use this to translate. And if we grab one of these uh, these little arrows, the green arrow helps us uh, move the object in a fixed along the fixed Y axis, the red along the fixed X axis, and the blue along the fixed Z axis. Now we can change this from just a transform uh, translate manipulator to uh, say a rotate manipulator by coming down here to this uh, panel that we see down here. Uh, this is the transform manipulator uh, window uh, option. So we can now uh, we can rotate along the x-axis by grabbing the red um, the red wheel. We can rotate along the y-axis by rotating grabbing the green wheel. And we can rotate along the z-axis by grabbing the, the blue wheel. Alternatively, we can turn on the uh, scale widget, and we can grab these uh, individual uh, boxes, and this actually indicates that we are scaling along one particular axis. If at any point you want to actually c constrict just uh, one axis, say the z-axis, and keep uh, the x and y axes uh, moving, you hold shift while you try to transform uh, or scale, for example. Um, and then if we go ahead and render, we'll see that our image has slightly changed because we've moved around the object. Uh, okay, that's it for tutorial 5. We'll come back and do some other uh, manipulations and other shortcuts for those uh, in the next tutorial.